Welcome everyone to another episode of our build series. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to tap that bell. That way you guys can be informed um, on our latest and greatest episodes. So without further ado, let's get into it. This episode, we are going to be creating a mark your cup and drink up box. Um, we do this in a single size and a double size. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our board and throw it on the side and do a 45 degree cut. And then from there, we will measure out the length of the box that we want to make and make an additional 45 degree cut. Once we have that piece cut out, we'll then use that as a template to cut out the three other sides. This will ensure that we have um, four equal sides. Um, for our double box, we basically double that single size um, and add a little extra. And then we, once we have that piece cut, we mark that as a template as well. Um, so the two lengths are the same size as, uh, as well. Once we have that, we will go ahead and get our pieces. Um, basically what we'll do is we'll sand the inside pieces. That way they um, are smooth and you don't have to worry about seeing you know, little wood fiber hairs on the inside. It just cleans it up a little bit. Um, now for this example, we're going to use a double box just because it's easier to show some of the tools that we use. Um, so we use 90 degree clamps on, for the, to hold them together. And what this allows us to do is to ensure that we have um, perfect 90 degree angles. Because the box is so small, we can't put our um, trying speed, speed squares in there. Um, these pieces definitely help out with that. So once we have those all squared away, we'll take our nailer and we will put two nails on um, every corner initially. And then from there, we'll kind of take the clamps off. We'll kind of uh, move it around a little bit. That way, you know, the, the, the gaps aren't, um, you know, if there is, if it is off a little bit, there's not really any gaps. And then we'll add an additional uh, nail everywhere. And then from there, we'll actually build a bottom based off that size and put it on and nail it on. And then we'll fill all those holes with wood putty. And then once we have that, then we'll go ahead and bring it over and sand everything down. Everything, everything is nice and smooth. And we'll go over the sides. We'll go over the top. Um, and we'll try to make sure that everything is flush. And that once we're done sanding, you won't actually see where we had to use wood filler. We want to make sure that you know, you don't, you're actually seeing that. And once we do that, we'll blow everything off. And then we'll begin the next process, which is going to be staining um, the box. Now we're going to go move back to the small one here, and we're going to use espresso as our um, stain. Um, I always start on the inside, get it, the brush nice and heavy, get it down into cracks and crevices. That way it actually kind of bleeds in. Um, that makes it um, ensure that, you know, if you look down through a crack, you're not going to see the wood. Um, and we'll do the inside. We'll get that all uh, stained. And then we'll come through and uh, wipe off any of the excess stain in there. Okay. And then once we have all of that done, we'll go ahead and stain the rest of it. Now, um, this one here, um, you'll see in a second, what we'll do now is mark where we want to put our uh, markers at. Um, I like to measure out, typically people are going to use a normal Sharpie, but there's other markers. Not everyone uses a Sharpie to mark their markers. So we try to use a different, couple different markers to do, you know, have a perfect size. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drill out that hole. Now, if you're going to do this on your own, Make sure your drill has a level on it so you know when you're drilling down that it is the exact size. In this case, we're using a half inch bit on a three quarter inch wood that we have it milled out to. Um, so there's not a lot of wiggle room there. Um, so you have to make sure you definitely are drilling your whole square. Um, then from there, we'll go ahead and clean it up with a little piece of sandpaper um, just so the, the edges aren't rough. And then again, just like we did in the corners, we'll bleed some stain down through there. Um, and then we'll go ahead and finish off staining the rest of the box. And then once we have that all stained up and wiped off, we 
will also get the bottom side of the box. And then from there, we are basically um, done with this project. This is a nice, simple, easy project. And thanks, guys, for listening in. And as always, we want to thank you guys for um, the continued support. And if you'd like to purchase one of these products from us, you can do so at our website at ivymwilco.com. Thank you, everyone.